Big story coming in from Sudan. Operation Kaveri to rescue Indian nationals caught in the crossfire in Khartoum is currently underway. So, so far, 500 Indian nationals have successfully reached Port Sudan. This is approximately 800 kilometers from capital Khartoum. It's towards the north. Ines Sumedha, a Saryu class petrol vessel, is standing by to ferry them to safety. Two Indian Air Force C C 130J Super Hercules transport aircraft are also on standby at Jeddah. France, meanwhile, has successfully rescued 388 people of 28 countries, including India. We bring you this report. Operation Kaveri is underway to bring back Indian citizens stranded in Sudan. The situation in Sudan's capital, Khartoum, remains volatile. There are tanks and armed militia and forces on the streets. Gun battles are being reported. The Sudanese airspace remains closed except for emergency rescue flights. External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar has confirmed 500 Indians have reached Port Sudan and more are on their way. Indian Navy ship INS Sumedha, a Saryu class petrol vessel, is on standby at Port Sudan to bring back the stranded Indians. Two C 130J Hercules transport aircraft of the Indian Air Force are also on standby at Jeddah to immediately fly in and rescue the trapped Indians. The French Embassy in India announced that last night two military flight rotations successfully evacuated 388 people of 28 countries, including Indian nationals. The situation on ground remains a cause for grave concern. On the weekend, Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meeting on evacuation of Indians in Sudan. Both the warring factions of the Sudanese security forces have given a nod for evacuation of foreign nationals. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said he was in touch with the Sudanese leadership to ensure evacuation of foreign nationals. It's a fragile situation. There are other actors that may be pushing against that, that progress, but uh, this is a real opportunity to finally carry forward the um, civilian-led transition and one that we and, and other countries uh, are trying to, uh, to bolster. So we're very, we're very focused on that along with, uh, with other, uh, other partners. The war for control of Sudan is between General Abdul Fateh Al Burhan, the commander of the Sudanese Armed Forces, and General Mohammad Hamadan Dagalao, head of the Rapid Support Force, the main paramilitary force of Sudan. The war in Africa's third largest country has alarmed the world. Sudan, incidentally, is no stranger to coup or multiple coup attempts. Since 1956, there have been 35 coup attempts in Sudan. Six, of course, were successful. Bureau Report, India Today.